Dude, the only thing I did was run into them. They attacked me. I was just gonna walk by them. Honestly, they're the assholes here. Which is weird, because normally I would admit to being the asshole. Welcome back, everybody, to the Diamond Sword RPG Remastered. Uh, thank you all very much for your support so far on the series. Uh, as per usual, if you still want to see more of this series, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my wacky antics, which I know you guys are all about, please hit the subscribe button. It means a lot. You're supporting Spell YouTube. Now, when we left off last time, we had... We're about... We cleared about halfway... We're about the halfway mark, I would say, of this dungeon. Oh, wait. I missed this somehow. Oh, uh, it's a hint. In the yellow carpet, run up, climb the pillar, leap the top, don't hold shift, you'll bounce up. Oh, I already knew that. We already did that part. So we're in the orange room now. Ooh, what's this? A chest. I think. Nice. That button just opens up the ability to get in that chest. So to advance here... This looks suspicious. Huh! It was suspicious. I don't think I'm ready to go there yet. I want to go through this uh, hall of doors. Uh, this way. Um, I think there's stuff in here that we need. Just gonna check, make sure. Yeah, I wanted to go up here. I just want to make sure that there's nothing else left. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and that's the last of our armor. Actually, I think that's the first time out of the three times I've played, the two times I've played this series, that I actually found all the armor. So, go me. Um... Don't rem recall this puzzle. Oh, here we go. A hint. Up note. Let's see here. Uh, C Z E. So creeper. Uh, creeper. Uh, one of these zombies. Zombie? Is that zombie? Zombie Enderman. Haha, <laughs> still got it. Oh, what a cool picture. I think this is one we just... The smoke's animated. That's so cool. How did they do that? You can see the smoke's animated right there. Oh, I don't like this. If I remember, nothing's going to attack me. Press this button quickly and jump to the iron door, then turn around and fight the spiders from the ledge. Yep. Oh. There we go. Why am I functioning on so little health? Come on, buddy, eat! There we go, no problems. I think this lever... Yeah, that lever opens up that door. Okay. Just gonna kinda ignore those guys. Is there anything through here? No, there isn't. Oh, it's the Hall of Paintings. Now there's a hidden wall in here someplace. Is it... One of these is a hidden wall. Ah, there it is. I still remember after all these years. It's been two years since I last played this. Ah, here we go. I think... Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. An Endermite. Very odd. I'm not supposed to get Endermites this time of year. I, I was looking up on my YouTube channel, like, when did I play this series last? And it has been legitimately two years since I have played this map. Well, not this map, the, uh, the last version of this map. And I'm, I'm very pleased to say that 
I'm very pleased to say that I remember a pretty decent chunk of this uh, of this map. Or, uh, yeah, I'm very pleased to say that I remember a decent enough chunk of this map. Oh, I have taken the diamond sh Oh, unknown voice. I've taken the diamond shard and left this restless soul bone here. Also look for two more in the other dungeons when you go there. So these restless bones will come into play later. I don't need this anymore. I can't remember if there's a boss fight or not here. Old ruins. So there isn't a boss fight. Let's see here. What do they say? This way, the old ruins. Exit to the desert and sand village. I think I still need to explore the old ruins. Interesting that there's just like a single block chill in there. Dude, why do they have katanas? That's pretty sweet. I just had a small panic attack because I'm five minutes into this video and I didn't think that I hit the record button. I wonder if this is important. Oh, well, this probably isn't important. I think uh, where I need to advance is somewhere over there, but... Mm, you know me, I can't resist breaking my kneecaps. Ah. Chicken. Oh, mm, kneecaps. Again. Oh, I think. Oh, that guy's got a mace. I'm not messing with him. That guy looks different. I, do I have to kill him for something? I feel like I have to. Maybe I didn't. Let's just murder everybody. You know what? I'm an indiscriminate... Uh, well, skeletons aren't really alive anymore, so is it considered murder? Hmm. Food for thought. Danger below. Traveling potion trader, traveling chicken trader. I think I'm good on all that. Okay, admittedly, this part of the map is kind of a blur, because I don't remember what to do exactly. Although, I am digging these skeleton designs. Like, 10 out of 10. Or is this what I gotta do next? This might be what I gotta do next. That's right, I do have to go down here next. So there is a boss fight here. Yeah! Pretty sure there's a boss fight. Ooh. Happy days. I am truly uh, being showered with, with emeralds this day. Yeah, I gotta fight something here. What do I gotta fight? Fighter people. Queen light. You gonna let me through? Oh, of course not. I'd have no choice but to kill them. And I think that plays into this... Man, these guys are tough. I'm actually a little worried now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not given a choice. I have to murder you. Trust me, I'm perfectly happy leaving you alone, but you won't get out of the way. This ain't going to be pretty. Uh, how dare you? What, you think you can just come into my lair and destroy all my brothers? They were just standing there harming nobody. I ran into them! Now you'll pay for your crimes. Dude, the only thing I did was run into them. They attacked me. I was just going to walk by them. Honestly, they're the assholes here. Which is weird, because normally I would admit to being the asshole. Like, right away. Trust me. I'm with you. But I'm not at fault here. Your jerk brothers are the ones that are at fault. Ooh. Oh, come on. Come on. Have at thee. Ooh. But, bro, it's like a truck. 
You have completed the pyramid and the old ruins. Continue to the next room. Uh, coin 10, 12 to open the forest. No shards here. Okay, so there's a little bit of an expedition, exposition dump happening. So this is coin number 10. 8, 9, 10 will go right here. So where next? With six diamond shards in hand, the great sword will appear imbued with the power of the shards. You will be the master wielder. But to find all six, you must complete the dungeons. Only then shall you have the power to defeat evil. P.S. I moved the diamond shard from here and placed it somewhere safe for later. Now, if you want any information on the forest dungeon, head to the sand village. We gotta go to the sand village next. Um, code for the sand village. Uh, one, one, three, five. We'll hold on to that. Finding 12 gold coins. The gold coins open the forest. To find all 12 coins on the path near... Search the path near home and behind the tall grass grown. Look in the desert for there are chests with coins over a river and a chest you'll join. One in a sandy village, one in a cave that's so dark. Find them all. And you're on the mark. Search for the sand village entrance. It is hidden for the signs. Read what is written. All right. And then no shard here. The diamond shard is restless. Uh, never know. What is, wait, what? The diamond shard is hidden where the restless sleep but never live. Well, that's, a, that's, the, that's the cemetery. The teleport out of here. Uh, press to go back to the desert. I think I'm ready to go back to the desert. Dope. So now, we got a couple things that we got to do here. Uh, first objective, find the sand village. Second objective, uh, find all the gold coins. We need them to enter into the... Oh, sand mimic! Sand mimic! Sand mimic! Sand mimic! As I was saying, a couple different things. We need to find the uh, gold coins... And we need to find the sand village. I think the sand village is holding at least one of the gold coins. So we will have to go there regardless. So I guess this episode's main objective is to find the rest of these gold coins. So we're missing one, two, uh, set, uh, there's seven, nine, 11, and 12. I think 11 and 12 are still are in the sand village. Now the sand village entrance, the first time that I did this map took me a hot second to find only because I wasn't really looking correctly I'm gonna call it I'm just gonna say just because I wasn't really looking correctly so yeah I'll show you guys where that thing is no problem I say that and I will probably fail to find it because that's just how life goes for me on most days but that's all right you know what? if you mess up and can't find something that's cool that's why you guys are here so I'm giving you this walkthrough. That and it's like a passion project that I very much so enjoy doing. So the Sand Village entrance is, if I remember is, oh, there's a chest up there. Hello. Did I miss you last time? I think I missed you last time. Oh, chicken. I believe the entrance is right around here somewhere for the I thought I saw a button. I got excited. A little too excited. Uh, that's a chest. With I already looted that one. I think the Sand Village... Or anyways, I thought the Sand Village entrance was back here somewhere. Ah, there it is. No, that's not it. Yes, no. Yes? Old cave-in entrance no longer used. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it was on the back side. Oh, here it is. I'm just blind. So if we're looking here, there's the bridge. Come up right here. Yeah, it's right here. It wasn't on the back side, but you kind of come in from the back here. So what did they say the code was for the sand village? Open up our book here. One, three, five. One, 
three, five, boom. Uh, hey, before you leave the sand village, find torches. You'll need them in the stone cave. Don't forget. Oh, this is a... Steel shears from the sand village. You do need shears. So shears are a way of making more money. Now, why am I here? Chickens for sale. Make sure you check every door. Ooh, more free chicken. I feel like I'm robbing somebody blind here. Am I really the hero? I don't feel like the hero of this story. I'm over here robbing people blind of their livelihoods. Yeah, I might be the asshole in this in this story. I need to buy torches from somebody. I remember that. Chickens for sale. More chest. Oh, gold coin number 11. I need 12 to... That's 11, so I'm missing... I'm missing a bit here still. I'm missing a few. Look around before you go for the entrance to the forest dungeon you might know. Well, I already know where the entrance to the forest dungeon is. I saw someone near the pyramid. They were just gone, like they vanished. I only looked away for a second that they were gone. Maybe a secret hideout around there somewhere? I wonder if I already found that one. That's a potion trader. Oh, that there are torches somewhere in this village that you could use to light up the cave. Oh yeah, potions for sale. Uh, ooh, apple? Apple? Apple. Speed potion. Isn't that just cocaine? Hmm. Food for thought. Ooh. In the mysterious forest, when you see two strange trees, pressing two buttons is the key. There are two strange trees in the mysterious forest, one near, one not far from the other one. Kind of interesting. Art gallery members only. Okay, I think it's time for a little bit of uh, light parkour. I'm just going to quick rob everything, rob people of their livelihoods, but from a rooftop. I'm like reverse Robin Hood. Oh, reverse Robin Hood with no kneecaps. Alright, let's try this again. Do I really need the emeralds? Probably, because I think we can get some pretty good stuff later if we have a lot of emeralds. Especially since chickens are going to be our... Oh. You know what? I'm doing this all wrong. Oh wow, I am... I am... special. I hit something and I stopped running. You all saw that, right? You know what? You know what? I need to get this, otherwise everybody's gonna harass me. What did I hit there? I'm having a very rough go of this right now. Ha! <laughs> Big money! Alright. Let's conclude our business here. And I think this is where I need to go next. A note. Uh, watch out for Art Guy 1. I bought an expensive blue potion and it only restored two hearts. What a ripoff. I was going to take it back, but I had already drunk it. Uh. Only members know the secret entrance, so welcome member? That's convenient. Uh. 
Well, look here. It must be the newest member. Looky here, Archive 2. We have a new member. Well, well, well. Our hundredth member wins some torches as a special prize. Look around here. I forgot where I put them. Okay. Uh. Oh. S sneak by you here. Nope. So they're in one of these paintings here, but I, mean, I can't remember which one. Oh, there we go. There used to be a lever that opens a secret passageway kept here, but has been moved to the stone cave, a cave somewhere guarded by darkness. Now you flip the lever, look around. What? Oh, here we go. Torches, we're going to need these. Because there's another something or other. Ocean. I think I can put that away. This I'm done with. All right, let's go. So the torches we need for the stone cave, I think that's where the last uh, token is? Oh, thanks for visiting the sand village. Yeah, 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 yep. I'm all about supporting the local economy. Yep, yep. I'm a good person. Don't have to thank me. I think I'm done with these books as well. I don't think I'll be back to the Sand Village. Let me find a... Find my chest here. So I'm missing seven, one, two, and seven. So let's go back up to my house, towards my house, because I think one and two of those tokens are up that way. But for the life of me, I can never remember where those are at. The so three was right around here, so it would be back earlier in the level. Oh, here's something. There's number two. Number one is... Oh, I think one's up here. Yeah! All right, one, two, and three. So that handles that one. Uh, two and one. I think eight I found over that way. So seven might be a little bit before that one. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. A chest down here under the water. Uh, not what I was hoping for. Not even close. I already looted you. Hmm. I were my last coin. Where would I be? Golden Potion. Whoa. That's new. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. I need to find the last... Gold coin. Oh my god, am I that dumb? I literally passed this thing by. Okay. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That is just... Fine. So that's seven, eight. No, oh, that's seven and eight, which I'm still missing number nine. There's kind of a flow to where the coins are. So seven was here. Um, eight was over here, which tells me nine would be not too far away. Let me think here. Where could number nine be? Number nine alive.
Did I already loot you? I already looted you. That's fine. Coin number nine. Where arst thou? I honestly could, like, go look back in one of my previous videos and pretty f easily find it. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking I'm not going to waste too much more of your time in this episode. I think in between episodes, I'm going to quick go track down the, the last coin rather than me try to remember where it could be. I'll just go find it off camera so that you guys don't have to worry about uh, don't worry about a thing. I'll take care of everything. It's going to be fine. It'll be fine. Until then, so next episode we'll come back. We'll find the last coin. We'll go clear the stone. Or we'll find coin number 9. Uh, coin number 12 I'm confident is in the stone cave over that way. So with that uh, when we come back next time We'll clear the stone cave, find the last couple of coins, and we'll begin making our way to the forest village. But, as is usual, that'll be next time. Until then, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya.